Okay, so I decided to come for another day and work a little bit more on my project since the shop is closed and there's nothing else to do. So I can at least work on our project here and get advanced with it before customers start coming back when the shop reopens in who knows, a year or two. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, so we are back here on the TR6 and we're gonna keep going. We'll see for how long. I'm not necessarily coming here every day just to keep myself entertained. And you, of course, hope you enjoy it. Okay, all the tools are on this cart now so I can move it next to me and I don't need to fill up the car with tools anyway so we flip the car flip the floor a little bit flip the car the other way around and here is now our front balance that we need to deal with it looks like here i finished it i welded it and i ground it but on this side i haven't welded it yet but the patch is done there's a little rust here but that's like piece of cake compared to what we've just done <laughs> and uh, here this is what we deal with so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna approach that I don't even have too much metal I think this is my last piece of metal here that I have for one side I guess and then we're gonna have to go around the shop and find something else there's always pieces of sheet metal laying around. Anyways, here it looks like we have a lot of rust on this area that was all bondo if I remember well, but this side is solid. So here on this front part, we don't have too much work, like we have to make a patch here, but this, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna divide it in two, I don't know. First of all, you know what? I'm gonna grab the needle scaler and I'm gonna try to see how far is the cheesy part here because I wanna cut it somewhere here. I don't wanna go too far, so let me see if this is solid. There's something in the corner there. No, it's solid. Anyway, let me buzz it with the needle scaler and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so here's my plan. You ready? This piece of metal, since I don't have a long piece of metal, I'm gonna have to cut it in the middle and I'm gonna weld the two parts together so I have a long piece of sheet metal. And out of this one long piece of sheet metal, I'm gonna make a replacement patch for only this front corner here. So first I'm gonna replace this part. I told that from the center to the side it's straight line, but it's not. So there's a very slight curve to the center, and same here. And then the center, of course, is round. So I'm gonna make a replacement patch for here. We're gonna weld that in place. We will see how far down we can go. Then we can cut this out and replace only this. And then we can cut this out, the back, and replace that separate. Sounds like a plan? Okay. Let's do it then. Okay, so that's done. The two pieces are one now. That's about two and a half inches. So one and a quarter. More or less, you know, it's not so important. Wow, well, is that gonna be enough? Yeah. I'm trying to go below this 
because apparently the piece that was overlapping here, they, uh, they spoke well with it, which is weird. Everything on this car was braced, but this one was spot well. So anyways, it's gonna go two and a half is gonna uh, one and a quarter is gonna go below this. Now this is not uh, square. It is I don't know, maybe it is less than 90 degree, which means acute angle. So uh, uh. a little bit over 90 and we're gonna test it I think I did it a little bit too much I'll go test it actually it's just tried so come with me huh? I think it's just about right anyway so now Now, if I had a TIG welder, it would be much better to weld it with TIG because I was going to be able to form this metal here, the weld, the same way as I deal with normal sheet metal. But uh, now, it's going to be tricky because it won't shrink right here, so we have to re deal with shrinking around it, but not in it. Anyway, so first... I think we're gonna do both sides separately first to make them be a little bit bent here and then we're gonna bend in the middle. Now when the angle here is not 90 degrees, bending it this way is gonna affect also this because imagine if we turn it here we're gonna have a radius on this corner, right? But this radius is gonna be a little bit bigger than the radius on this part. If we want to bend it this way, let's say we're going to have a radius of 10 inches from here to the center, but then on the this is going to be a little bit closer to the center, so this radius is going to be 9 and 3 quarters, let's say. So we definitely we need to shrink this a little bit. Now for such a small curve, I don't think this is going to affect this, but then when, we, when we're doing here, the center, that's going to be a little bit tricky. Maybe we're going to have to shrink here when we do in the center. Now for the two sides, I don't think that's going to be a big deal, but let's see. I'm having a little bit of trouble with my shrinker. The stretcher work, works fine, but the shrinker, the teeth on the shrinker slip a little bit. So I put this here to, I don't know, creates a little bit more uh, friction somehow. It pushes harder on the metal, I think. Okay. I'm going very, very gently because I don't want to overdo it. But, you know, if I overdo it, I can always stretch it a little bit, but why would I? Okay. Let's go compare it to the car. Yeah, that's way too much. Let's see. On this part, we'll try and do less. Okay, that's better. I don't know if you see it, how it goes, but this one I did way too much, so I'm gonna go and stretch it. Okay, I think that's good. For the two sides, let's check on the car. Now the only way to compare it is by laying it this way. So that's our center more or less. Oh, I definitely need more. So the first time it was better. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna leave the sides for now. I'm gonna bend it in the middle so we can work on the entire shape at the same time. Let's see how we're gonna deal with this now. Mm. 
it works. It chews it a little bit here, but it's fine. And this stays. We are actually very close. Okay, let's see how we can do that so I can stay out of your way. I think we are very close. Now we just have to bend again a little bit here and there. I'll be back. Now, it turns out this has a little bent down, so it's like this. You see, it's not flat. So we have to bend the center a little bit. We have to bend here, so it can drop down. Actually, sorry, we have to stretch. We have to stretch here, so we bend it a little bit this way, and this way the center is going to go down. I think it's laying nicely here and it is also laying nicely here so I can just mark it and cut it now yay now before we cut it though I'm gonna reach inside and I'm gonna mark where the openings for the these are signal lights right so I'm gonna mark inside so I know exactly where they are just like this so I can cut this out and then I'm gonna cut the entire valance now this meadow is overlapping the old valance. That's why I'm not cutting it exactly where it is, because when the old meadow goes away, the new meadow is going to go a little bit further in and a little bit down, right? So now I'm cutting like an eighth of an inch farther, not right next to the meadow. Even though this piece is going to be replaced, uh, I just want to make sure that I'm in the exact position, so I'm going to cut it as if I'm gonna keep this metal so it's gonna guide me I'm gonna position this where it's gonna be and then I'm gonna remove the other metal and same I did here I cut it a little bit lower than this metal Cheesy. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm, I'm gonna cut this. Before I forget, I'm gonna cut the openings for the signal lights and then, yeah, and then we can weld it. We're gonna tack it here where we have a solid metal. We're gonna tack it all the way here where we have solid metal. I might tuck it even here in these areas where it's gonna be it's gonna be removed anyways this metal so no I don't need to once I tuck it here actually once I tuck the two ends here and here then I can remove this metal anyway so yeah. Okay, I have those cut out here and here, and they line up perfectly. So now I was gonna start welding it. I mean, I was gonna weld it here, there, and here, but I figured that if I weld it here and there, that's already enough reference that I had. So I don't need that piece, that rusty piece at the back for reference. 
I can get rid of it right now because I have the it's much easier without this there. All right, the rust is giving up on us. It's disappearing little by little. The last known pieces are this and this, and a little bit in the trunk underneath, you know? But other than that, most of it is gone forever. <laughs> anyway, so I removed this, I literally ground it out, turned it into dust, and um, now, since we have it open now, and it's uh, the bottom part of this is never gonna be seen again, we better treat it right now, this corner too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some uh, rust converter on it, and uh, I'm gonna take a break for lunch, and then when I come back, I'm gonna prime it, and then we're gonna start welding this corner piece here. We're gonna weld it, at the bottom here and here and then we're gonna make the other piece to replace the one that we just ground away and after that we're gonna deal with this and this Ooh. it's pretty cool today in the shop it's cool outside too so anyway so this is derusted and painted painted the back of this piece and now i can plant it in there and well, lines up perfectly. <laughs> have to weld this very slow because I don't want to warp it and then we're gonna deal with the back piece over there it's not that bad I was expecting it to be more complicated <laughs> and not gonna touch it anymore and uh, I'm not gonna weld it in full before I finish the rear piece so maybe I'm gonna build the rear piece now I'm gonna tuck it in place as well and then we're gonna cut this out and we're gonna make a patch for there we're gonna tuck it in place as well and then we're gonna weld everything in full at the same time so I can weld a little bit here, then a little bit there, then a little bit there, and a little bit here. And this way we're gonna give enough time for everything to cool down and not uh, overheat and warp. So let's uh, go around the shop and find a little bit more metal for this. All right, I actually found something that is almost matching here, the center. It is already curved. And I know what it is for. I remember when I made that piece, it is actually from when I built this limo. So that's a cut and stretch that I made. I actually cut a Yukon and uh, cut it in two halves and I stretched it. So this piece actually was meant to be part of the frame the, the side window frame but uh, something changed and this piece left over but I remember I made it for that reason but now it's gonna be part of an even cooler vehicle because that's cool that's cooler <laughs> anyways it needs a little bit of adjustment looks like the peak of the curve is not in the center so it's gonna come something like that. I think the center is gonna be somewhere here. I have to work a little bit on it. Okay. So I extended the piece and now I can start bending it so it fits. I cut it to the exact length. So now in the first place, 
we want to drop it down in the center you see because it has a bow up so we're gonna start shrinking here a little bit so we can drop it down probably see from there it has a curve and maybe and here too where I welded it actually I didn't weld it very straight so here we're gonna straighten it first and here and then here too because here it also has a little bit of a curve okay wow <laughs> on the first try now we have to also play in this direction so now maybe I'm gonna change your position so you can see so you can see from this angle now that I have a gap here and the rest is pretty much okay so now we have to shrink here so we can bend it this way and the gap is gonna get closed but then we're gonna open here so maybe we have to shrink here and stretch here you know what I mean so this curve that we have here we have to actually move it here so shrink here and open and stretch there. Shrink here and stretch here. Okay, that's better. And we're gonna use the spot welder here to weld it later. So for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark it and cut it. Okay, actually I'm gonna mark it and I'm gonna take it out. I was gonna cut it here in place but it's gonna be easier to cut it on the band saw so I'm gonna mark it and I'm gonna take it out. Alright it fits pretty well so now we're just gonna uh, paint the back we're gonna prime it and while it dries we're gonna make a patch for here and cut this rust off Out. Okay. Now this I don't need to prime now, I can prime later. So yeah, that feels good. You know what? I'm gonna use those clamps. I like them. Okay, I can tuck this in place because the other piece is still fresh and then we're gonna weld the other one. Alright, so this part is tucked in place. I'm not gonna weld it in full like I said. So now we're gonna put that in the back and the only thing to replace is this little piece of rust over there over there all right so here unfortunately I can't use my clumps because I'm limited both sides here for this little piece so I have to go without them okay I'm gonna tap it here in the center when it where it lines up and then I'm gonna line these corners So what's left now is the spot welds. All right, so the top end is all spot welded. This little machine actually helps a lot. <laughs> Saves time, saved me a lot of time. If I had to do uh, plug welds there and if I had to grind them it was gonna take me forever now it's still gonna take me forever to weld this and grind it but there was gonna be another forever even longer forever than than this forever <laughs> anyway so now 
It is uh, another day. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't like my face, but what can we do? Another day, another video. Yeah, this video is too long, so we're gonna cut it here. And uh, the new day is gonna be in a new video. Yeah, don't worry, there's a lot more footage because I got a lot more done on the car. After this long break, I'm uh, full of power now. <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, thanks for commenting and subscribing, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.